Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna be discussing my experiences with large firms as well as small engineering firms. I'm gonna be going over the differences, the pros and the cons of each of them. Just to give you guys a little bit of background, I've done about eight months of work in a large firm, so not very much. So again, take my opinion with a small grain of salt because my large firm experience is minimal. In the first eight months, I just realized it was not for me. However, with the small firms, I've been doing that for about nine years now, and I'll be telling you guys everything I love and hate about both my experiences with large firms and small firms. But before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below if you have large firm experience, and then we can compare between my experience and yours. So to be clear in this video, we're going to be assuming equal wages, equal benefits, and equal vacation time. Those I've seen all over the place. Some small firms actually have better wages, better pensions than large firms because of their flexibility and vice versa. So again, if we keep everything equal, I'm going to be talking to you guys objectively through my opinions on the pros and cons of both large and small firms. To get the conversation started about the large firms, I'm gonna be telling you guys my pros and my cons and probably the main reasons as to why I ended up deciding to work with small firms only after that. So to begin, a couple of the pros of the large firms. Pro number one, there's usually a large quantity of senior people around that you can ask questions to. This will make it a lot easier in terms of having quick questions based on experience, you know, whether it was a question on what type of framing system to use or something like that. Those people typically were there and had the information. So that was always a plus when working with a large firm. Pro number two, at a large firm, something I love is that there were so many past projects to go through. You know, let's say we're working on a design and we've done something similar. There's probably five or six or even 10 projects similar, full of calculations full of designs that we could go through and have a lot of reference work. Pro number three, there's quite a bit of structure and that's something that's really nice. Each group has their own secretary, they have their own management team, there's a nice big corporate structure to back up the individual. So a couple of cons of the large firms is that I found I was working on the same project the whole time I was there. In the eight months I was there, I think I worked on three different projects and then I just knew it wasn't for me. So really the variety of work was the problem. I, I'm a person that enjoys working on several different projects and being really involved with them. That brings me to con number two, is that I didn't have a lot of authority on the projects I was working on. Let's say we were designing a, a large structure, I only had a small piece to play. And that's just not for me. I like to be very involved and I almost like doing as much of the design as possible, which is something that's, that's again, personal to me, but I really enjoy being involved into several projects and having a lot of authority over the design. Con number three is actually the large corporate structure. So while that is a pro, there's also some downfalls to that. And some for me were actually not being able to have enough one-on-one -on -one time with people who were supposed to manage me and coach me directly. Whether it was working on a project and I wanted to get some guidance from my manager, he was almost busy in meetings, etc. So that's, that was also a bit of a con is because the corporate structure was just too large and it was hard to get the project going together. Now in terms of small firms, that's where I thrived. And that's why I think I made the transition between the large firm and the small firm. So here are some of the pros of the small firms. So pro number one is the authority over the design. When you're in a small firm, you typically have a very large role. So even if you're at a junior level in a small firm, you're gonna be doing a lot more than a junior person at a large firm because the team is so small that everybody has to pick up their own weight. So you'll be able to have a lot more input at various stages of the design to be able to kind of translate your ideas onto the design. So again, we're gonna call that authority of the design and that might not be the right word, but that's just how I perceive it. Pro number two is actually the volume of projects. To give you an example, last year I probably touched 300 plus projects and that's typical to everyone at this firm. We're again a small firm and that's something that's really important to me is to be able to work on a variety of projects, have a variety of inputs on various projects and be able to see them through. So that takes us to pro number three and it's actually to see your projects built. I've talked to some colleagues of mine who worked at a large firm for six years and still never got to see the project get built. To me that's huge because Part of the reason I became an engineer was to be involved in the construction process as well as the design. I like to see my designs come through and get built. So pro number four is the flexibility of projects. Being a small firm, we actually have a little bit more navigation in terms of the types of projects we could take because we have such a high volume of them. So you know, if we're more interested in doing wood, wood projects, we could take more of those. If we want to do more steel projects, we could take more of those. If we want to do more residential versus commercial, if we want to do more industrial, we have the flexibility 
to take on those different projects. Pro number five is the ability to grow. Prior to starting this firm, I was working at another small consulting firm and I went from a junior level engineer to a senior level engineer within a short period of time because there's so much more I could take on, so much more responsibility I could take. And the management team really made sure that I could achieve my goals, which were to grow within the company and take on more responsibilities. While there's quite a few pros to small firms, there's some cons too. With con number one, with small firms, you typically have a lot more personal responsibility towards the projects, which means that when a deadline's coming up, you will likely have to stay late or you'll likely have to put in more time to make sure the project deadline gets met. And that's just, that's just the nature of it. Most firms typically have a good overtime policy and a good time off policy, so they kind of balance each other out. The firm I'm at now, so let's say you have to do some overtime, you'll be compensated whether it's overtime rate or you can get time off. And again, it's almost very mutual. There's always a discussion first. Try to plan it as far ahead as possible. So, so if the overtime's in two weeks, we'll try to front load the overtime within the first week so that we could you know, have some buffer and not have to keep working late nights to make sure that we get the deadline done. That brings us to con number two, the peaks and valleys. So in small firms, you see the peaks and valleys a lot more because you're working on a variety of projects. So in our case, we do a lot of construction work. So let's say that in the summertime, we'll be a lot busier than the wintertime. And that's something that we see. It's very cyclical, but that's just part of the nature, right? So we're a lot slower in the winter and we're very busy in the summer. So a lot of people within our firm book their vacations around the winter time because in the summertime, we're just so busy. Con number three is you're actually so valuable within the firm that it's a lot harder to take time off because your projects still have to go. So you have to plan your time off quite a bit ahead of time. And that's another con. So I hope you liked the video. As always, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. Do you agree with my points? Do you disagree? Again, these are just my thoughts. They're not scripted or anything like that. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.